Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here, truth seeker and truth speaker. We're on June 11, 2020. Uh, and the message seems to be very, very clear. There's a group that wants us to be afraid, be afraid of our neighbor, be afraid of this, uh, this little virus, uh, you know, be afraid of, of so many different things. And I got to ask you a question. Does fear generally have a good effect on society? Does fear generally have a good effect on, on your own body? Uh, and I'll tell you as a doctor, no, it absolutely doesn't. In fact, it'll basically kill you uh, in more ways than you can count. Um, you know, my, I have a long history in clinical practice. I've treated all kinds of patients from elite professional athletes from every major sport to people that have been sent home to die and with a very good track record of success. I've also taught doctors all over the world. So what I'm gonna share with you is facts, are facts, and I want you to verify them for yourself. And if this resonates with you, share some truth because there's a lot of things that are not true uh, that seem to be shared quite a bit. So Abraham Maslow was a phenomenal social psychologist and he put together what he called his hierarchy of human needs. And he said, you know, first we need kind of survival, right? We need air, we need food, we need water, that kind of thing. Then number two was safety. Now understand if you compromise someone's safety, they have a harder time establishing love and community. Well, look at the riots. That certainly wasn't a measure of love and community. How about self-esteem? How about mental expansion? How about making things more beautiful? Nah, destroying things is not beautiful. And then how about being your best self? I promise you we have more examples than we ever wanted to count in human history of people not being their best selves because their safety has been compromised by a rumor, by a lie for a long period of time. So let's look at the US and, and where they rate in the terms of the, of the healthcare systems of the world. How about 37th? Now, when you start looking at the richest nations of the world, well, we're kind of number one. How about health? Number 37. How about infant mortality? Number 32. We're number 32 in infant mortality. How about life expectancy? Number 27. By the way, this is of 34 countries. So when we show you the deaths from COVID, uh, and we do have some deaths in, in children, which by the way is so, so, so tragic. And by the way, in the total deaths, it still comes out to be to the third decimal point, zero percent. Uh, I never want to minimize pediatric death, but you know what? That's what we do in this country. We have a high level of infant mortality. So these kids that, that died 20 weeks premature, well, were they a COVID death? Uh, these kids that normally die from God knows what, sudden infant death syndrome, uh, were they a COVID death? Well, maybe the death certificates are trying to say that, but here's a fact. We represent this country, one in four global COVID deaths with 4% of the world population. So what are we doing in the U.S. that's so wrong in terms of health? How about everything? You know, I've heard a guy that's uh, in charge of infectious disease being called a health expert. Heck, he's not even infectious disease expert. Health, healthy people don't get infectious diseases. I want you to think about that. So let's look at the actual stats. We've tracked the death rate around the world. We tracked the death rate in the US. This is Live Stats USA. This is our population uh, as of this morning. These are how many deaths we have this year. This was where we ended last year. We were supposed to have an uptick. Why are we having an uptick in death? Why an increased progression in death? Chronic disease, chronic disease. So we're 27th on life expectancy. Count on that going down because we're just a very sick nation. And that's why we have as many problems as we do. Plus, they're probably faking a few of these or, or at least falsifying the certificates because we're down 92,000 deaths this year. Check my math. I've sent it to Fortune 500 uh, accountants. They said, no, your math is right. Your math is right. Hmm, US is down 92,000 deaths, yet we've got a whole population living in fear. Gandhi says this, power is of two kinds. One is obtained by the fear of punishment and the other by the acts of love. Power based on love is a thousand times more effective and permanent than one derived from fear of punishment. Hey, if you're constantly living in fear, you're gonna beat yourself up until you become empowered and then you're gonna kick that fear monger out. 
Well, I think we need to be doing that. That's what I think we need to be doing as a nation. So is it a crime to scare somebody? Uh, that's a pretty interesting question. Crime, money, power, drugs, yeah, they're all linked together. And I'll say it again, crime, money, power, health? No, they're not linked together. Crime, money, power, nutrition? No, they're not linked together. Crime, money, power, drugs. That's where the link is. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski. Truth Seekers Academy is coming soon. Please share some truth and shine a little light on this wonderful world of ours.